Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, I want to look on some atmosphere settings and primarily for the haze, fog, and other ones which affect our distance look um, in the camera so we can simulate this as perspective. So let's look what is will affect it. Um, first, let's preset our terrains and other ones. Then what I'm going to do is create um, some objects. So replicate them and set them on different distance so we can something compare to our um, distance settings. And right here I just set Okay, we have it, uh, cones or um, pyramids right here. And if you notice right here on this pyramids, we have it actually um, closer one. And this is by comparison size about uh, what do we have it? 10 meters about per square. So we have a 10, 20, 30, 40 to the camera on the first one. The other one's located probably about 300 meters, and the other one's about kilometers or so. So it's kind of distance. And uh, at this point, we can not let me turn just slightly them, so we have it different angles looking on our pyramid with lighting. Okay, right here. Okay, at this point, if we go and get and render on the screen, you'll notice we have it, we kind of have it already applies some distance. For example, right here for the ambient light, you can see we start losing. But overall, what's happening with the distance in our perspective? Um, few things will change. Change, we start losing color. So as an example, if we set all these um, materials to maybe something more colorful. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll set the red color on all of them. Okay, well, we start losing um, saturation on a color with distance. It's a color start wash out. We also start losing uh, some details as well with the distance. So we don't have the small details right there. Um, and also start looking a bit more wash out. So to simulate, we actually start need working with those properties. Um, one of them, if you use lens, it will be blur. But for this lesson, we won't involve any distance blur DOF looking on this, just so we can more concentrate on the atmosphere settings, not on the camera settings. Let's go ahead and start open atmosphere. Okay, in atmosphere editor, we have it um, spectral, and we can go and change the sliding. One other way, is if you start using it with Valometric, uh, model settings for atmosphere, it's kind of easy to create distance. But for this tutorial, I want to stay with the spectral at model atmospheres. And uh, maybe in our other part, we'll look on well metric, but right now we'll concentrate on spectral. So I'm going to switch to global radar steam. Okay. Um, the couple interesting things right here will be applied. It's in sky fog and haze. Most of this will be fog and haze and the aerial perspective, which will affect um, dramatically our distance view. As well, you will notice the global intensity it's scattering, but these options will be mostly working together with the folks in the haze. It is how much light intensity from the sun will be uh, lighted particles in the atmospheres and also how far away they can distribute this glowing effect. So let's do just a couple of things. Let's disable everything. So you notice right here, remove it, all options. And this has become quite a bit sharp. We don't have any atmosphere influence. 
um, one of the actual most significant effect it's aerial perspective so if you notice we are increasing all the way up you'll notice right here we start applying the aerial perspective and ours and we have this already distance kind of washing out and slightly tint to the blue to the atm atmospheric color we start having this discoloring again this is about kilometer and it's close so it doesn't have this very um, heavy effect on a distance so the closer one which is about what's 200 meters still it doesn't affect that much and if you want to apply more to this we need to apply some other settings so some other ones we can apply it it's a work with a fog actually and what's happening fog will apply kind of a discoloring and washout effect on a lower altitude so simulating to the fog in the real world a uh, couple things to know this when we say fog mean altitude it's not a top of the fog layer that it's mean middle of the density of the fog layer so for example if we're going set to about 150 meters fog probably will go up to 400 something meters all the way because we have a high density and it will be decreasing and maybe one third to this it will be your mean altitude for that so let's go set we say 150 and we'll pop up significantly and it's kind of hard to see the fog effect because it's one effect specifically right on this object but it will affect more on a distance so we kind of need to collect and this is best work with other option settings again let's go ahead pop up a little bit heavier and you can see we apply to atmosphere it's got to affect more than backgrounds at this point okay um if at this point if we set and we'll try to increase uh, for example our global um global intensity even in preview you can see it does not affect because this is will tied up with our uh has before with the haze Okay, so right here, the fog on the bottom, so we'll kind of disable this point. Let's look on the haze. And you notice I'm starting increasing haze and it will apply. Okay, so we'll set about haze of atmospheres. We'll apply our haze um, run density. And again, you notice right here that our object does not apply. It's kind of affecting more uh, backgrounds. So we can go ahead and maybe with the skies um, and how I said before the haze it's imagine it's a particle in air it will be very much um, working together with the glow intensity of those particles so if we go and move it you can see how our atmosphere start glowing with this so let's kind of look on this a little bit closer on this particle effect so right here we have a sun and of course it's coming from the sun if we move sun more closer to the object our glowing obviously will be closer to this point and again if we give it the glowing intensity you can see it is no distribution it's how much power coming from here but scattering still happening with same rate so right here we still have it kind of darker but we make atmosphere glowing more closer to the sun and again, if we are um, increasing our scattering, it will be scattered more far away on the distance from the sun. So think about this, the one scattering is how far away and glowing intensity is how much of this particle lighting will be passing through. Okay, the one thing is also that these uh, options and preset of glow intensity and everything on the particles will affect um, also materials and objects inside the view so right now i'm kind of don't look on those options mostly i'm looking right now for the atmospheric settings and other so our combinations mostly will reside with the distance it's working with the aerial perspective fog settings and actually uh, with the haze as well so let's do this way We'll go set the haze like almost on default so we have a slightly effect we'll go aerial perspective at this point and we'll increasing 
and you will notice with the aerial perspective will affect a little bit with the, our combination so if we're going increase glowing as well okay, let's preview right here you can see with com combination of those we have it even more discoloring on our object and I like when discoloring going with the light side so we're adding a little bit more distance effect of the distance to this okay we also let's increase our effect with the fog and again with the glowing and you can see now we start having this fog glowing on a bottom again this is a work very well with the combination of the settings so and if I want to increase a little bit more on a haze of course we can increase more but sometimes you will notice it will start giving this um, too much of the bright of the white so you can go ahead and change haze color make it a little bit darker in this case we can still have it some situations in a sky keeping but at the same time our objects still kind of more wash out and already you can notice how much distance effect were applied from previous okay again we can just pop up a little bit more in some of those settings you want to apply slightly so you can see more effect it's applied to this aerial perspective if you want also heavier you always can um, just type in value instead of slider because slider will go only up to 10 but you can type higher value and you can see how much that affecting and um, with using fog you'll notice right here on the bottom we actually have it heavier um, kind of haze and all this washing out then on top so it's more look like if you create with the mountains and add those settings you will have it more look like a peak of the mountains with with poking out of the fog so let's go even increase higher okay can increase altitude a little bit okay and I'm kind of trying to be very careful with the glowing effect because the tears give it all these particles when they start glowing you can see they kind of start taking off light but we always need nice balance between right now we have it more like almost English fog very thick and kind of going with haze up all the way um, again if we reduce our haze let's take it a little bit more down Okay, we have it more effect with the fog it's what we apply at this point and our sky is a little bit cleaner because our haze altitude and everything is way lower so we can bring clouds in this case um, let's say before with haze altitude when we go up we can create more thicker kind of maybe like rainy effect at this point we can create more dust storm um, if you want it you can go or um, maybe more like a morning fog on a scenery and dust of course we always can change color on our fog and it's great more sandy look for this okay also um, we did not uh, kind of playing with the decay at this point mostly because it's just decay of the color but you always can um, try apply some of the settings and just overall very fast the sky density again it's mean altitude and if i want to create a bit heavier clouds like a little bit more rainy kind of day what you did before with this darker um i take sky density down as well as altitude it's give it a little bit heavier right here let's look on this it won't just such a right kind of heavier sky look again it's for the rainy as well if you want to bring a little bit more higher altitude you take your decay a little bit down so we have it less yellow and you can see we have it kind of nice higher altitude with heavy sky again look right here how heavy density we have it for our atmosphere perspective we hardly can see the object on the background right here and even close up already applied nice case in fog on this object and again if we look right here and this is about 20 meters or what 
um, closer to the camera. So this is object quite a bit close. Here. And it's already have it this nice effect. So with manipulating over all settings, um, you can achieve kind of very nice density atmosphere effect. Um, coloring will help you to set properly mood for those. But again, mostly if you want for the distance, aerial perspective probably will be your main control for this add overall layer of the haze with distance and um, particles combination, the haze with the uh, haze ground and with the glow intensity, you can specify a little bit more on a glowing. One thing to remember again, the glowing and the haze will affect basic depend with your sun position. So you can see how much right here. And if I move my sun uh, away and up front, you can notice now it's much more visible because the glowing, it does not um, distribute going that far away. If you want effect of this glowing particles, a little bit more in this case, you always need increase a scattering. So you need to set a little bit far away add more on the distance on this, okay? So by increase, not even intensity, but scattering, you can increase how far away the particles will go. So it's again, depending on position of the sun, you want to work with the scattering, if you want to affect it, and how much it's with the global intensity. Okay, ground fog dance will work with the bottom layer. And again, it's combinations. If you work by itself, they do not, uh, don't give you this strong and nice looking effect combination okay so let's um very fast looking on the volumetric material model and i like uh, sometimes the volumetric because it's simpler with all the settings and uh, same things you can apply quite a bit faster effect so i'm just overview this is very easy it's a fog with the distance how much and the same with haze fallout so let's say I want to increase my um, distance with the fog. Okay, well, let's say fall out. It is percent right here. You can see on the top how much it will go. Okay, as well with a haze overall density. And again, think about the fog will go on the bottom and haze will go to all atmosphere. So we'll go increase haze density. You know, maybe fall out right here. Let's decrease our glow a little bit down. Okay, and with this even fast and simple settings, you can see how already we applied all this effect. So it's kind of nice. It's a faster way to apply the distance with all this washing colors, everything, but it does not have this um, precise controller spectral model uh, where you can create a little bit more on the bottom of your scenery, like in the mountains, maybe more on the fog and nice distribution. But if overall you want to create a very fast, look uh, with the distance fog um, like I did in some fall road uh, tutorial other ones the volumetric will work just fine and it's very fast producing and rendering so thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com